Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding. Today, we're working through LeetCode's two-sum problem. Given an array of integers, return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. So, the example we are given is an array with four elements, 2, 7, 11, and 15. And the target we want to create from the sum of two elements is 9. We know that 2 plus 7 is going to be 9. And so 2 is at the 0 index, 7 is at the 1 index. So we return an array 0, 1. Now, we know that there are, on the order of n squared, combinations of pairs of elements. And we can brute force this solution by having a double for loop go over all the elements, all the pairs of elements, and then sum them and check if they're equal to the target and return if they are. So we could say for i in range length of the numbers array, and for j in range i plus 1 to the length of the numbers array, we will sum equals nums i plus nums j. And if the sum is equal to the target, we will return an array with i and j. So in each case, we're checking if it's equal to the target and returning i j the pair. So i is going to go from 0 to the length and j is going to start at i plus 1 so we don't use the same element twice and we're going to go and brute force the entire set of all possible pairs. And by checking and returning early we don't have to go through all possible pairs since we just need to return the first time we find a solution. So Looks like we made a good solution, but like I said, this is a double for loop, so it's going to be running in O of n squared. So we can save this, and try to have a better solution. Given a single number and a target, we will know exactly what the complement to that number needs to be in order to make the target sum. So for instance, if we know our target sum is 9 and we are given the first integer 2, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So we need to find if 7 is in the array to determine if 2 and 7 is going to be a pair that will sum to the target. So Given a number, we know its complement, and we can search the array for its complement to try and see if that pair would work and return that pair if it does work. But instead of searching the entire array, what we can do is store the complements in a hash map or a dictionary. And so this is going to be a map of the complement of a number to its index where it was found. So for example, uh, two, two's complement is seven. So we're gonna store seven and the index zero as the first entry to this dictionary. And then when we get to seven, we're gonna check the dictionary and see if seven's already in it and since it is, we know that 7's complement is at index 0, and we can return 0 and 1, where 1 is 7, where we're at currently, because we know that'll be a good pair. So for i in range length nums, we're going to start populating the complement map.
So we're going to get the complement of the number. So this first one, num i is going to be 2, and the complement is 7. So if 7 is already in the dictionary, we know we have a pair, and we can return that pair. Otherwise, we're going to add the complement to the complement map. And then we're going to iterate through. So at the end of the first iteration, it's going to look like this in our dictionary. And then we, when we get through here, i is going to equal 1. And then we're going to find the complement 7 in our complement map and return the index which is 0 and 1. And since we only have one for loop, this is going to operate on O of n. Oops. We're not searching for the complement. We are searching for nums i. So here, instead of searching for 2 on the second iteration, we want to search for 7. We're going to abstract nums i out to num. So we're not doing so many brackets within brackets. So we're going to get the complement of the number. And on the first iteration, num is going to be 2, complement is going to be 7. And nothing's going to be in the map so far. So we're going to store 7 and index 0 in the map. Then on the second iteration, num is going to be 7. Complement is going to be 2. And we're going to have num in the complement map because we have this entry here. And we're going to return the index. 0 for here, and i, which is now 2 because it's the second number. All right, looks good. Let's submit it. All right, looks like we passed, and we beat 37% of Python 3 online submissions. So let's clean this up, remove some brute force methods. It should run a little bit faster. Thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and support me on Patreon. The link is in the description below. You can also subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks, and I'll see you later.